Hi, I wanted to talk about dye fixative. Rit dye projects often have a long rent cycle because a lot of the dye actually is just sitting on the surface of the fabric. What's so wonderful is when you are dyeing a project made out of cotton, linen, rayon, ramy, anything made from a plant-based material like cotton, you can use dye fixative to help bind the dye to the fabric and make sure you get more color on your project and also cut down on the rinse time. So let's take a look at two t-shirts that we've dyed with our new emerald rit dye and use one with dye fixative and one without and see the difference. All right, so I have dyed my two t-shirt halves. I'm gonna wring out the excess dye in both of them. I have two of my two t-shirt halves. I'm gonna wring this one one more time, get out the excess dye. And I'm just gonna leave that on the side of the sink. And then I'm gonna take this one. And there's two ways to add dye fixative. You take your bath bowl or bucket that you've used, and you can either spray dye fixative on directly, as I'm doing here, or if you would prefer, you can just lay it out in the bottom of your dye bath bowl and take your dye fixative and pour it on liberally and then just add enough water to thoroughly coat your dye project so that you know that the dye fixative is getting on everything. And we're gonna let that set for 20 minutes and then come back and rinse and see the difference. So let's start with the t-shirt that does not have dye fixative on it. So I'm gonna start rinsing and see how long that takes. All right, now let's take the shirt that was in dye fixative, and this is just a little dye fixative leftover dye, and see how this rinses. You can already see a lot less dye coming out. And there you go. That is such a time saver and I like the color so much better. But let's look at it side by side. So here are my two t-shirt halves that I dyed in our brand new Emerald Rit dye. And one I used dye fixative on and one I did not. Now I don't know about you, but this took me twice as long to rinse and the emerald hue is just not quite as bright and brilliant as the one where I used dye fixative. So I hope that going forward you'll enjoy the beauty of Rit dye fixative as much as I do on all of your projects going forward that are made with cotton, rayon, viscous, linen, all those great things. Happy dyeing! Mm -hmm.